Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate how to print a document uh, in this tall, narrow booklet format. Uh, first thing you need to do is, uh, well, two things. Uh, first, there's a, a tool um, that you use to uh, en enable you to print two PDFs. Um, because what we're actually going to do is use the PDF uh, reader, the Acrobat reader, free the free reader that that uh, everybody knows and loves, um, to to be able to enable this tall printing format. Um, so in order to get your document into a PDF form, you need uh, a way to do that. And and this is a tool I've used for a million years. It's a free tool. So you know you you uh, get this get this free download and install this. Um, and what this uh, tool does is effectively act as a printer so that then from within um, your content generation tool, in this case I'm using Microsoft Word version 2013, but from here I'll be able to print uh, as a PDF. So we'll, we'll get to that piece in a minute and, and why I use QPDF in particular for this um, versus um, the one that comes free with uh, with Microsoft tools. Uh, so uh, you're going to want to set up for, uh, your pages within Microsoft as um, dimensioned four and a quarter by eleven. So this is the, the dimension of each individual page um, that your document's going to have. Now of course when you finally print it, it is going to be printing on a full eight and a half by eleven sheet with that you'll then stack up together and staple in the middle and fold to get your final uh, booklet. But this is a, this is a custom uh, paper size option, so you, this is on the paper tab button here, um, the, the middle button on this uh, page setup, uh, and, uh, and it will have defaulted to something, presumably letter, um, unless you have overridden what your defaults are for that. But as you scroll down within the various sizes, you'll see an option down here that says custom size. And uh, and so that's what I've, what I've chosen here. And uh, and then filled that in as being four and a quarter, 4.25, uh, that is, by uh, by 11 inches tall. And so and so that's what I had done to to, to instruct the program then to, to do you know your your word wrap um, with the assumptions that that it's all going to fit on a page of this size so that's that's your setup inside of uh, inside of Microsoft Word let's make sure I have no markup on here and then I'm ready to print so now if I go to, to just print this and I print directly to a printer um, and I'm printing in portrait orientation it, it's going to Print my content uh, so that it still fits in that four and a quarter inches, but it's still going to it's going to print it on a much larger page with big margins on the right, big margins on the left. So that's not not uh, not quite what we want. But instead of printing directly to a printer, um, we're going to print to this cute PDF writer that that we've installed. Now you'll notice that there is a Microsoft Print to PDF. Um, there are also uh, some other tools that will do this that that may or may not work. I know the Microsoft Print to PDF version does not, and and the reason it doesn't is it doesn't have the feature that allows the the PDF generator to have a customized page size as well, which is what we need here. So if I go to Cute PDF Writer, so and if I just click Print right now, we'd still have the same problem. So um, then um, within Q, the QPDF Writer, I'm going to go to the Printer Properties, um, and it, uh, it, it within the, the main dialog, you don't have any ability to customize, but you'll see this Advanced tab here. You can see that it's defaulting to letter size. So e when I print this to the, to the PDF, it's actually going to end up printing exactly the same way it would have printed if I went straight to the printer with big margins on the side. Again, not what I want. But now within here, I can choose a custom page size. It's listed here toward the bottom at post, as PostScript custom page size. And you'll see when I come in and click that, it, uh, it lets me put in the, the, the information on the page. It defaults to 8.5 by 11, and I'm going to change it that to 4.25 by 11 as well. And I click OK. I'll click OK. 
I'll click OK. So I'm back out here to my, now my Microsoft Word dialog, and I click the Print button. Microsoft Word wants to update the page numbers in my table of contents, even though nothing has changed. It always asks me that. Now you can see down here at the very bottom, it is busy printing 26, 27, 28. So it's printing those pages that's coming from Microsoft Word. Now it'll take a moment. Um, and what's happening is that the cute PDF writer is then taking the content that it got from Microsoft Word and it's formatting it as a PDF. Um, so in the, in the PDF file format. And then uh, after a moment you get this dialog that pops up and you can see the icon down there for cute PDF. Um, so it's just asking for the file that it, it, I want to save this as. And you can put this wherever you want. In this case it's defaulting to the directory that it, I've used in the past so that's, that's what I want to use. And in this case um, I'm just going to call this demo and I'll call um, I'm going to note that it's a that it's a single column um, a, a, the single column version of the PDF and, and you'll see why in a moment when we when we go to construct the, the final PDF so I hit save and that document should now be out here so there's demo one column we can see let's go ahead and open that up so we're opening this up in the regular uh, Adobe PDF uh, reader tool. And just to get a better view of this, I'm going to um, zoom out a little bit here. Um, so you can see that from all this gray that's over here, it knows that this is the actual page dimension. So you don't see those extra white borders on the side. Um, so so that's what we want to see here within the, the regular PDF reader. Now here's the magic that's actually going to create the booklet itself and this is really big functionality just baked into the Adobe Reader once you get this into the right size page. So I'm going to come and just say print. Normally when you come in you'd, you'd see this um, but they have a booklet option and um, if you if you just said I want to print it in, in a normal booklet this is the view you'd get by default and in this view you can see the page is laid out um, uh, doing kind of a, a, a typical booklet where the pages are uh, the, the, the final pages end up being uh, eight and a half by five and a half and that's 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 not the tall narrow format we want and it, it will have a lot of extra wasted space on either sides of the pages that I have formatted but within here so again this is all under this booklet option here within here you'll see a left tall option uh, this is now exactly what we want. This is the first page of my document on the right. This is the last page of my document that will print on the left on the same page. And on the flip side of this, printed uh, double-sided, and you do want to print this double-sided, this is now the second page of my document, and this is the second last page of my document. Um, so now this is ready to print. You could print this to a printer. I generally will print it back out to a PDF. So I have a version of this um, uh, you know, readily saved as a PDF that I can send to somebody else and they don't need to think about it. They can just uh, to go and directly print it as it is. Um, so, so in this case I would go ahead and say print this. So now the Adobe Reader is, is doing its printing thing and again we have to wait just a moment while it gets to cute PDF and, and cute PDF will then pop up with its dialog if you were printing straight to a printer these pages would already start showing up so I'm going to call this demo and I'll call it demo booklet because um, this is in booklet ready format now so now if we go then to open up that booklet form we should see exactly what we were expecting here let me again zoom out a little bit so you can see page 1 and then page 32 and uh, and when we print this 
we are going to get the booklet form we want. So if you picture, this is the first piece of paper that's going to come out of the printer on the on one side, on the right, it's going to have that first page. The next page down is going to have on the the left is going to have a, the second page. This will print right on on the back of the first page because we're printing two sided. And on your printer options, just make sure you're uh, flipping on the long edge for your double sided printing rather than flipping on the short edge um, when it when it uh, prints. You may have to play around a little bit with your printer to settings to make sure you're getting that the right way. But you want, obviously, this page 2 to be printing on the back of this page 1. Likewise, on the back of page 32, you'll have page 31. Um, and then you'll, you'll keep uh, all you know, the rest of the pages will come out. Here's page 3, and on the back of page 3 is page 4. Um, and uh, and then you'll have a, a whole stack of these things um, which you then staple right down the middle. I find that three staples down the middle uh, works uh, works well. I do have a stapler with an extra long reach um, which really helps. I've in the past I've managed to take paper and kind of cram it into a normal size stapler and you kind of fold this up a little bit. Um, that's probably not going to work that well for a, a booklet that, that uh, has as many pages as I have here. This is a, so there's 32 pages, which means it's a, a 16, obviously, uh, with double-sided. And, and then because there's going to be four on each page, it's eight actual pages of paper. Um, you'll do, no, do note that uh, the very middle page here, I actually have blank. Because what I do is before I, I uh, collate and, and staple these pages together, I print a full um, page image right here that's right in the very middle that folds out. That would be something that would be pretty complicated to do inside of Microsoft Word um, to, to get a, an image um, that if you had to have an image that spans these two pages, you'd have to cut the image into two different images and get them to position just correctly in Microsoft Word. It's just a lot easier to then take this page and separately print this. Um, so basically this side of this page will get printed twice, once with this, uh, you know, this text and these page numbers on it, and then a second time with the image that, uh, that I want to finally appear. So that's basically all there is to it. You now know how to print a tall, thin booklet.